a better defensive effort sort of all the way around. Um, and then to sort of win it with a defensive stop, you know, and solidify it that way uh, was huge for us. When you consider how physical this team generally is and how they generally beat you guys on the boards, yeah. um, for you guys to out-rebound them by a healthy margin, I mean, is that show a little bit of growth in that aspect? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we talked about it before the game. Everybody getting the body, you know, it wasn't going to just be Jay or DJ, um, you know, battling with Sabonis or Turner, uh, where they kind of they had killed us and had their way with us the first couple of games on the glass. Um, but, you know, obviously DJ had 19 rebounds. So, you know, whenever you have, uh, uh, you know, anybody board like that, it makes everybody's job a lot easier. But we had a lot of good, um, you know, guard rebounding efforts. Everybody was coming back to get the ball, make sure that we had it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of that has to do, again, though, with just, you know, the quality of the, of the defensive possessions. We were able to, you know, guard guys tough, force them into tough contested shots, and then everybody got a body on a man and was able to get boards. How critical was it for you, do you think, to get going in the third quarter like you did? You had three threes there. Mm -hmm. Just to, to see something go in, it had to help the whole team because everybody was struggling to shoot tonight. Yeah, you know, we didn't shoot particularly well, but, um, you know, it's one of those things TP and I were just talking about it where, you know, sort of, you know, me and him are not the type of players where we facilitate on our own. You know, we can get to the rim and we're pretty opportunistic in terms of driving, but a lot of times we get shots, you know, when other guys are getting into the paint or there's, you know, transition or whatever it might be or defensive, defensive miscue. Um, and so you just have to stay patient with it, you know, keep running to your spots, trusting your spacing, finding the windows, and then when you get it, you know, have the confidence to take it and make it. As a team, this is a first time you guys have a win on the road against a winning team all year. I mean, when you have a, a little bit of a breakthrough like that, I mean, do you think that's something that can help confidence going forward? You know, going in somewhere a tough place and beating a good yeah. team like this? I think definitely, um, you know, we've been in a lot of games. But, you know, we very well could have been saying the same thing um, the other night when we were in Toronto. You know, we were, shoot, a last second, put a uh, tip in away from, you know, feeling how we are right now. But, um, you know, for us to come into, uh, you know, a tough environment, you know, Andy is always really good at home. Um, I don't know how many times we've won over here over the past few years, but it's not a lot. Um, and obviously, you know, they're uh, one of the better teams in the East, and they're desperate for a win as well. Um, so for us to come in here, get a win, it's huge in terms of confidence, especially going into the break. What did you think of Spencer's toughness tonight, both ends of the floor, the defense he played, and then even though he wasn't shooting, he was getting to the basket, getting to the foul line, and took the big one. Yeah, you know, he, uh, you know, everybody had the confidence in him to take and make the, the last second shot. Um, he got to his spot, unbelievable mid-range pull-up. Um, but Spencer's so good at, at getting to the rim, you know, he just kind of keeps even the best defenders on their heels. Um, and he was able to kind of rise up, get a clean look at it. But he just did a good job all night getting into the paint. I mean, he got me a wide open three there at the end, too, just because everybody was collapsing to him. So he was putting so much pressure on the defense um, and just making the game a lot easier for everybody else. Couldn't help notice the uh, new celebration. What is the story behind? Yeah, it's sort of an inside joke with everybody on the team, but... I mean, sort of a long story short, a lot of the guys on the team joke with me, that's the, the whitest thing that I do or have done. This is a little like fist pump, so it's sort of a running joke now. Yeah. Richard, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Can we get a still of him right next to, was it the Breakfast Club?